our weather with First Alert meteorologist Scott Paget to tell us what's coming up. Scott, what we got? It's hot as we go into the uh, next few days uh, for us. That's where it's on. I promise. Yep. Yeah. Check them. We're checking the mic. Checking yep. It. Triple checking. Triple. Is sprinkling a little bit. Yep. <laughs> Sprinkling <laughs> magic weather does. I promise it should work. All right. I can tap dance. All right. Play the balloon festival. There you go. Uh, everyone around the building has been saying, hi, it's too hot, Scott. I don't want to hear about it anymore. So that's why my microphone wasn't on. But 97 tomorrow, Saturday 98, Sunday 96 for us for that play the balloon festival. Northerly winds at eight holding on on Sunday, pointing that out. So I want to alert you that if you're headed out there, hydrate. Make sure the kids have the sunscreen on. But look at the change on the way Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday and Wednesday, upper 80s in the forecast with the cold front moving its way on through. Now, the first alert future cast shows that we are going to continue to see uh, the cloud cover that's sticking around for us. Frontal boundaries well down towards the south and the east. So we're not really going to be dealing with a whole lot of rain uh, over the next couple of days. From this, I do expect to see our dew points that measure the moisture in the atmosphere drop a little bit with the front that's going to move its way on through. So with that in mind, we are going to be seeing our temperatures uh, dropping our way on down and then and also that measure of moisture in the atmosphere, upper 30s, really dry air in place, that humidity dropping for you, and that's going to be nice. Now, we do still need a little bit more rain. The drought index backing up by a month was really bad, but looking at where we're sitting now, abnormally dry conditions through parts of the Metroplex to moderate drought, far southwest sides of North Texas still dealing with the extreme to, uh, it looks like severe drought in some spots. So we could take some more rain, and we have a small chance on Sunday with that front moving through. 95 right now, winds out of the southeast at 5, so if you're heading down to Clyde Warren Park, it still is a warm evening developing. We're sitting at 93 in Graham, 95 in Sulphur Springs, 95 right now in McKinney to 92 in Bottom. So into tonight, clear skies on the way. We're down to 86 degrees by 9, down to 83 degrees by 11. Into tomorrow, we start out at 72, warming our way up to 97, so above average temperatures again. Tracking Fiona still a Category 4 hurricane making its way off towards the north northeast. Want to point out that this area that we're looking a tropical wave west of the uh, Windward Islands is possibly going to be making its way into the Gulf as we go into Monday and Tuesday of next week. It is something we'll keep our eyes on. If it does develop, it will be Hermine. So we'll let you know if that's going to be developing into a tropical system. But here you go. You already saw that sneak peek of the forecast. Small rain chances on Sunday, but I'm looking at Thursday morning because that's going to be 63 degrees.